See, National Livestock Mission is not a new program. It was launched in 2014-15. That is almost nine years back by Government of India. At that time, the unit size was only 10 plus one and 100 plus five. The subsidy cap was 25 percent only, and the subsidy was released through NABAR. But in 2021-22, the same program is revised and realigned. They have changed the unit size to 500 plus 25, and even the subsidy also they have increased it from 25 percent to 50 percent. And the subsidy is rooted through CDB, not through NABAR. It is implemented all over India. It will be enforced till March 2026. the main objective of national livestock mission which is called as entrepreneurship development program edp the main objective is breed conservation so applicant whoever is selected under this program he should rear only the recognized breeds and they should be maintained under zero grazing only by following scientific management and uh, the another objective is bringing this sheep and goat sector from unorganized sector to organized sector and to develop a sustainable business model what is the eligibility criteria to apply under this scheme any citizen of india any citizen of india can apply for this scheme any individual or it can be a joint application also and a farmer producer organization also can apply self help group also can apply and farmer cooperative organization also can apply there is no restriction on caste and no education is required and they are not asking for religion or region and there is no gender preference also in providing subsidy But the only condition is the upper age limit should be 65 years. But in December 2022, that is almost eight months back, they have made certain amendments in the guidelines. They have reduced the unit size. Earlier it was 500 plus 25 only. From December 2022, they have reduced the unit size, and they have added beneficiary share, and they have changed the eligibility criteria also. So as per these amendments, one can apply for 100 plus per unit, or can apply for 200 plus 10, and it can be in multiples of 100 up to 500 units. And for 100 plus per unit, one will get maximum 10 lakh subsidy, and for 500 plus 25, one will get maximum 50 lakh subsidy. And the other changes they made is, applicant may also be eligible for applying for more than one component, and they can apply simultaneously. the meaning of this sentence is one can apply for sheep unit and can apply for silage unit can apply for poultry unit like that one can apply for different components simultaneously at a time for each component they will get subsidy and more than one adult member of a family more than one adult member of a family may also be eligible to apply under this see a husband can apply if he is eligible and a wife can also apply if she is eligible and children also if they are more than 18 years age and they have sufficient land or sufficient money as a beneficiary share they can also apply and the minimum beneficiary contribution should be 10% of the total project cost so these are the amendments made in december 2022 these amendment guidelines are available in the nlm portal the subsidy provided is 50% of capital subsidy 50% of capital subsidy capital subsidy means the total project cost the remaining part 40% it can be availed as a loan from the bank or it can be self financed also so applicant need not go to the banker for loan it is the choice of the applicant and if he is taking loan from any bank so he has to invest minimum 10% or the remaining 50% can be borne by the applicant here you can easily understand 50 plus 40 plus and 10 plus 50 is subsidy 40 is bank loan and 10 is applicant share and this subsidy is channelized through sibb bank nlm guidelines they have given indicated list of items which can be included in the project cost so these are the 11 items which can be included in the project cost construction of shed kid and sick pen cost of dog cost of bus transport station cost water cultivation etc but no subsidy will be provided on working capital please listen to this carefully no subsidy will be provided on working capital for purchase of personal cars for purchase of land and for leasing for establishing office accommodation they have given the indicated cost also here you can see it. for 500 plus 25 unit they have given an indication of 87 lakhs as a project cost but still but still even if it exceeds exceeds 1 crore one can get maximum 50 lakh subsidy so one need not stick on to this figure it can be more than that also at government of india level they will have an empowered committee 
and the second committee is PAC that is called as Project Approval Committee, and at state level, in each state, the state implement agency will be there, and this can be the animal husbandry department or livestock development agency. It need not be the same in each and every state. In case of Telangana, it is animal husbandry department, and in case of AP also, it is animal husbandry department. and this is called state implementing agency they have no financial role in this the entire funding will be done by government of india only the role of state implementing agencies they will scrutiny the applications which are uploaded by the applicant into the nlm portal and they will place all eligible applications before state level executive committee this is slec this slec is also at state level only and the state implementing agency they will follow up the project for a period of 2 years after completion these are the duties of state implementing agency then how to apply for a sheep and goat unit and what are the documents required if you are applying as an individual you need to have a detailed project report generally we call it as dpr and you should have land for sheds construction for construction of sheds this is mandatory and it can be lease land also it need not be own land uh, your land documents even if they are leased you need to have lease agreement for 10 years of period and it can be a notary document and kyc documents like aadhar card pan card and address proof of the applicant and one gps location photo of proposed site for shed construction and applicant's photo is required and the bank consent if you are trying to avail loan from any bank and if you are investing your own money still you need to take guarantee from the bank and for the remaining 10% beneficiary share you should produce one document proof in general it is nothing but bank statement where your money is deposited and you should have an experience certificate it can be taken from local veterinarian or one training certificate and all these documents all the documents which are listed above should be in pdf form and they should be less than 1 mb size except the project report project report can be up to 5 mb size in the project report you have to mention all these details like your your personal details aadhar card pan number gender caste education qualification and land details survey numbers and proposed shed construction land survey number also and this is how to prepare the project report here i have given one example this is a project report of 500 plus 25 goat so the total project cost is 1 crore 75250 rupees cost of animals is approximately 50 lakhs the maximum share goes towards cost of animals only the remaining around 42% for the casual constructions and among this total project cost we should mention clearly about the means of finance so generally the subsidy will be 50 lakhs and the non subsidy part will be 50 lakhs 75250 your share should be minimum 10% and the remaining part should be from bank this is how to prepare the project report and you have to give very clear the flock flow chart in which month how many number of animals will be there and how many will be born and how many will be died the natural mortality should be taken into consideration how many will be sold and here you can see the gross income expenditure and net income statement like this one should prepare the project report and here i have given one format of experience certificate in fact there is no such format which is designed by nlm it can be designed on your own but only thing is it should be typed in english this is the only mandatory and here i have given one consent letter given for one applicant by idb bank his project cost was 23.64 out of which they have given consent for 10 lakhs in february 2022 government of india have given clarification about the bank loan share bank may sanction the loan for full project cost as per the demand of the beneficiary that means you can take 90% loan from the bank and 10% will be your share in such case the subsidy amount will be adjusted into the loan account only or else the subsidy portion will be released into your savings account and if you find any difficulty with any bank these details are available in nlm portal if you find any difficulty in getting the sanction letter or loan from union bank of india you can contact any manager these details are available in the nlm portal and this is how to take the gps map so you can take this photograph with your mobile also you have to download the gps map camera from play store and with that you have to take the photograph of the site where you are going to establish your farm and you will get all these details like latitude of the area longitude of the area the date of take, taking the photograph time everything and keep ready all the required documents which i have mentioned previously in pdf form 
and all should be in less than 1 MB size except DPR. So it can be up to 5 MB. And you have to submit your application with the required documents through online portal only. You need not go to any office, you need not meet any officer, just you can sit in your house and you can upload all the documents. You have to visit their site uh, www.nlm.udhyamimitra.in. You need not pay any registration fees and you need not pay any processing fees also. See, once you open this site www.nlm.udhyamimitra.in, this type of page will be appearing on your screen. You have to click here, apply here. We have to click on login as entrepreneur because as an individual, you are applying to become an entrepreneur only. You have to click on login as entrepreneur. Then you will ask you to enter your mobile number. Then you have to request for OTP and you will get one OTP like this. And here you have to enter your OTP. Then the first page, first page of application will open like this. So keep on filling all these columns and there are five pages in this application. The first, first page is applicant details. You have to enter all the details which you have entered in your project report. So your project report should not have any, any type of deviation from online application. So whatever the details you have incorporated in your DPR, they should be entered into this form. And once you fill this first page, you, you can go to the second page where you have to enter all the project details like cost of the animals, cost of the sheds and transportation cost, everything. And then the third page will ask you to provide all your bank details, name of your bank, branch name and IFS code, etc. Then in the fourth page, you have to upload all the documents. All the documents means your DPR, your bank concentrator, your personal photograph, other card, everything. Finally, you have to submit the, your application. It is a very simple procedure. You need not go to anyone. It is very easy. Once you upload all the documents, you will get a message like this. Congratulations, your online application form has been successfully submitted. So this type of message you will receive on your mobile. And if you open the NLM site, it, it will have two green marks. It will have two green marks on the application status. At this point of time, at this point of time, if you want, you can withdraw your application. If you want, you can withdraw your application. If you find anything wrong and if you want to re-upload, you can withdraw and you can re-upload. If you want to check the documents which you have uploaded, you can download from this button. You can download all the documents or here there is one view option is also available. Once it is uploaded, it will be checked by the state implementing agency. For example, in case of Telangana, it will be checked by the Department of Animal Husbandry. In case, in case if it is found wrong, it is returned. It is returned to re-upload by giving edit option. They will give you an edit option. You check here and they will mention the comments as return and you will get a message on your mobile also online application form has been returned by state implementing agency then you have to open the nlm site and you have to check the remarks see here in this case it is returned with three reasons one is mention survey number of the land he has not mentioned the survey number and the means of finance not match with that of the project report in the project report he has mentioned differently and while applying through online he has given some other details. The third one is the information provided on the bank details do not match with the cancelled check what he has uploaded. So these are the three remarks and this person, this applicant, he can modify the project report and he can enter the details which he has entered wrongly. So again, he can uh, resubmit this application. So if everything is fine, if everything is fine, you will get a letter like this. In principle agreed, in principle agreed after thorough scrutiny by state implement agency. After this, they will forward it to the government of India for approval and release of subsidy. Here you can check it. State level executive committee recommends for approval and release of subsidy. And once they recommend it, uh, they will ask you to upload the bank sanction letter, bank loan letter. And every time you can check your status, status of your application through the online portal only. Here in this case, so he has passed four milestones. In the beginning, these two have been completed and the principal approval also marked and bank loan also marked. Here you see, even central executive committee screening also completed. And once it is approved, the subsidy amount will be released in two equal installments. In this case, you can check the first installment is released for this person. And the first installment will be released at the beginning of the project. And second installment will be released after completion of the project. 
Not only sheep and goat sector, the other components also available under NLM like poultry. One can have a poultry hatchery unit, can get 25 lakh subsidy, and one can establish piggery. Piggery also, for piggery also, one can get 15 to 30 lakh subsidy. So the procedure of application is same, and the documents required is also same. And one can apply for silage making unit also, and for fodder blocking unit also. And for further clarifications, see if anything is missing in my PowerPoint presentation, just please feel free to call me on my mobile number. And for detailed project reports, see which is very important document to be uploaded for applying for an NLM, just you can contact Srimati Bindu Madam on this number. So it is, it is only a suggestion, I am not recommending. If you know anyone, you can get it done from they, them also. So for more information on sheep and goat sector, uh, you can join in our WhatsApp group. You can watch Satya Zero Grazing YouTube channel also for more videos on sheep and goat sector. Thank you all.